Welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting challenge today. Factorial question 10 factorial over 6 factorial equal to x factorial. So how can we solve this challenge? Of course, in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this. First of all, right here we have 10 factorial in our numerator. Yeah? So right here we have 10 factorial in our numerator and we divide uh, this 10 factorial by 6 factorial. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They think that uh, they can cancel this uh, 10 or they can divide numerator and denominator by 2. Okay. So for example, we can right here divide by 2 right here by 2 so we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial so something like that this is the most common mistake so a lot of students solve this question like that just forget about it this is really bad really bad solution what is the correct solution let's write this 10 factorial as a product okay so we can do this easily this is a product from 1 to 10 let's write all all this product so we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so this is the whole product in our numerator. And we divide all of this, uh, all this 10 factorial by 6 factorial. And in the same way, 6 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 6. Okay, so we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and times 6. Okay, equal to, equal to x factorial. Okay, great. And right now, product on in our numerator, product in our denominator, so we can easily find mm, the common values right here, so we can easily cancel something, okay? So right here we have a product from 1 to 6, yeah, right here, okay? And we have the same product in our numerator, right here we have, I write this line right here, so underline this right here, okay? So right here we can cancel this product from 1 to 6, and right here product 1 from 1 to 6. Okay, so what we still have, we still have this expression, so let's write it, so we have 7 times 8, so we have 7 times 8 times 9 and times 10, equal to x factorial. What are we going to do next? Let's write, let's rewrite this 8 and this 9 and this 10 in another way, because 7 we can't rewrite it in another way, but 8 can be written as 2 times 4, okay, so uh, let's write this 7 as 7, yeah? Let's write this 8 as uh, 2 times 4, so we have times 2 times 4. Let's write this 9 as uh, 3 times 3, okay? So let's write this 9 as 3 times 3. So right here we have times 3 times 3. And this 10, uh, let's write as, for example, let's write as 2 times 5, okay? 2 times 5 equal to x x factorial. What are we going to do next? Take a look right here closely. Let's try to create an order. So from 1 until some number. I don't know exactly what the number it will be, but let's create this order. So we have 1, okay? Let's write it. We have 1, okay? 1 times. Let's take this 2, okay? So cancel this and write this 2 right here. Uh, 3. Where do we have? We have 3 right here, so let's cancel from here and let's write it right here. That uh, This is mean that we used, already used this, okay? So we have 4, okay? Let's write this 4 right here. And what about 5? Yeah, we have 5 right here, so times 5, times 5, let's cancel this, yeah. And we still have, uh, what do we still have? We need have we need 6, yeah, we have it 6 right here, but 3 times 2 is 6, so we'll let's cancel 3, let's cancel 2, we have 6. And the last step is 7, and really interesting expression right now, because right here we have a product from 1 to 7. In, a, in, a, in that way that this is a, a product from 1 to 7, we can easily say that this is looks like a factorial, yeah? This is 7 factorial because it is a product from 1 from 1 to 7. So this is our, let's write this right here, okay? So this product gives us 7 factorial equal to x factorial, okay? And a lot of students do this common mistake. This is the second most popular mistake. This is the first one. And this is the second popular mistake because a lot of students write that x equal to and they find exactly value of this 7 factorial. They find it, thousand, hundreds right here, the huge complicated expression. But we don't need to do this because factorial, factorial and x equal to, equal to 7. This is our, this is our solution x equal to 7. So this is our solution to this challenge. Okay, answer x equal to x equal to seven. This is our solution to this to this question. Really interesting challenge. Don't forget uh, to learn a correct solution to this challenge. Forget to, to this about this expression about this solution. Forget about this common mistake. X is equal to seven. This is a correct solution to this challenge. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, a lot of lessons, maybe 300, maybe more than 300 mathematical challenges every day. So if you're interested in this, you can easily support me with your like and subscribe to my to my channel. So thank you for your 
attention thank you for your for your time and see you in the next videos i hope you learned something new this is my main goal on my youtube channel so see you in the next videos and have a great day